I did questions 3, 5, 9 and 14 and for homework you guys had 4, 8, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17. Now, back on to question 15, okay? Now, what happens is a skateboard ramp is in the shape of a curve, so a U-shaped curve. Two platforms represent the starting and finishing points as shown. If the starting point is C, is at a height 3 meters and G is the finishing point. So actually he starts over here, starts on the right and finishes at the left. Is that okay with you guys? All right, there's my makeshift skateboarder, okay? Enjoy. Now, oh there. Now, uh, what happens next is, get over there and bye bye. Don't need you anymore. Now, the starting point C is at a height of 3 meters. And the finishing point is at a height of 1.5 meters. Calculate the distance between the bases of the two platforms. Now, very simply, start off with H equals 3. Everybody cool with that? I'm expecting one negative answer. How am I expecting a negative answer? Because you can clearly see there it's left of the y axis. Would you agree with that? And you're expecting one uh, positive answer, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the minus B formula. So it's going to be 0.1, you can help out with this, 0.1x squared minus 1x plus 2.5 equals 3. Then obviously 0.1x squared minus 1x minus 0.5. Everybody kill with that? Where did you get the minus 0.5 from? Brought the tree over and took it away. Now you do the minus B formula, will somebody be so nice as to get that on the calculator for me? If you haven't got it done correctly, that is. Okay. Now, what we get here is A value of 0.1, B value of minus 1, and a C value of 0.5. All right. Uh, so I'll put this into the minus B formula. It's going to be plus 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 0.1, times c, which is minus 0 0.5, all over 2a, which is going to be 2 times 0.1. Is that okay? Now, what you get for the answers, lads? Anybody got an answer for me? Five, root 30. So five plus root 30. Can you give me that in decimals? What? 10.4, right? And the other answer should be negative, which means you don't you don't care about it. So the other answer will be minus 0.4a. So you don't care about it because it's negative, right? So that's exactly that's roughly what you're expecting earlier. Remember, I did the do you remember I did the count earlier? Okay. So, what we found out is that, what we found out is that in between 10 and 12 is what, guys? In between 10 and 12 is 10.48. I also did a cheap trick earlier. If I remember correctly, the last thing I did was uh, I put this into the calculator as 0.1x squared. And then uh, minus x plus 2.5. And what I would have got here, guys, it went from 0 to, let's say, plus 10. See the way I tracked the points? And I also found out that the lowest point was 5, 0, didn't I? And that's how I knew that was 5, 0. And then that's how I knew it went up in 2s. Do you remember you had that the other day? 0 to 2, 2 to 4. Right. Next thing we're going to have to do is, instead of it being equal to 3, what do I need to equal to this time? What do I need to change the 3 into? Anybody? Change it into 1.5. And once I change that into 1.5, what happens next? So it's 1.5 now. And what's uh, 2.5 take away 1.5? What? Would everybody agree with plus one? So you're going to have plus one this time. That means your C value is going to be 
instead of being minus a half, it's going to be plus one. You do the minus B formula one more time, except this time your C value is plus one. And what you get when that happens? And we get an answer for that. One point, one two seven. So X will be equal to one point one two seven. All right. What do I have to do now? I have to find the distance between the two platforms. If this point here is 1.127 meters away from the y-axis, but the other one is 10.4a, what is the distance between the two of them then? From here to here. What's that horizontal distance? 10.4a take away 1.127. And what you get when you do that? 10.4a take away uh, 1.127. Correct the two decimal places as well, please. Yes, sir. Nine point? Yeah. 9.35, okay with you guys? All right. We all good? Who got that out? Give it. All right. Oh. A rocket travels along a path given by the equation 3t minus s equals 4, where t represents time and s represents distance from the ground. A comet is traveling along a path represented by the equation 2t squared plus s squared equals 43. Now, believe it or not, that's an ellipse. Okay, I don't know if it's an ellipse this way or an ellipse this way. I actually forgot. I don't really know. But the main thing is, is that the rocket hits it. The rocket inter uh, goes through the path twice. Does that make sense? Now, it's very simply, you have a linear equation and you have a quadratic equation. So what do you think you can do here? Get S on its own, and what you get? 3T minus 4 equals S. And then what can we say here then? 2T squared plus 3T minus 4 squared equals 43. 2T squared, uh, I'm going to square that out. It's a 3T minus 4, 3T minus 4. It's going to be 6t squared minus 24t plus 16. Take away your 43. And then you should get 2, sorry, 8, 8t squared minus 24t. That last part there is a minus, uh, minus 27. Who got that far? Awesome, minus B formula. Is it 90? Oh, sorry. Here. That's uh, not 6T squared, it's 9T squared, which makes that 11T squared. Thank you. All right. Now, what next? Did you do the minus B formula? All right, so A is 11. B is minus 24, minus B is plus 24, C is minus 27. You threw it all into the minus B formula and you should have gotten something like this. All right, and what were your answers? T equals? Three. And the other t, minus 9 over 11. Uh, it can't be that y, negative time. So t equals 3. Is that what it wants from me? Nope. That's part of what it wants from me. It wants the 
x and the y axis if you get what I'm saying. So it wants me to find the s value as well. How do you find the s value? Three times your three times your time take away four. So three times three take away four. And we got five. Three five. Suggest so why there is only one solution, e.g. one point of intersection. Well, when the intercept, the rocket usually gets destroyed because it hits the comet. That'd be one reason. The other reason is one, one of the answers is negative time, and negative time doesn't exist. Take your pick. Okay. Now, this one. A plane is traveling along a path given by the equation. Given by the equation x plus 3y equals 5. A weather front is reported in the path of the plane. The front is modeled using x squared plus 6y squared equals 40. Determine if the plane will cross this front. If the path of the plane is given by x plus 2y equals k, find the minimum value of k so that the plane will avoid the weather front. Oh, that's an interesting one. Okay, I have an idea. Right. So, we're going to start off. This is a standard question to begin with. What do I need to write down? My quadratic formula and my linear. But we're going to use five this time. Everybody agree with that? Determine the plane will cross this front. If the path, if the, the wider part is running in front, I'm not using the third plane across this front. Yeah, uh, stop there. That's the first question. Everybody happy with that? Full stop here. So this line on the above is the first question. And in the first question, we're using uh, x plus 3y equals 5. All right, let's start off with x equals 5 minus 3y. Everybody cool with that? What's next then? Replace x squared with with uh, 5 minus 3y squared. I should get uh, 5 minus 3y by 5 minus 3y, which in turn should be 25. Keep an eye on this. 30y, 9y squared this time, 6y squared, take away the 40. Is that okay, everybody? Uh, you should get 15 new no, 40y squared, is that right? Oh, I made a mistake. Tell you to give an eye on me. It's 25, not 25. Y squared. So what do we get here? 15 Y squared, yeah. Minus 30 Y. Take away. 15 equals zero. Uh, divide by. Divide by 15 if you want. I can tell you right now, this is a minus B formula. No, no factors will do the trick for me. A is 1, B is minus 2, minus B is plus 2, C is minus 1. Put it into the minus B formula. Okay. And we get 2 plus or minus the square root of B squared. It's minus 2 squared minus 4 times A times C, all over 2 times A. Anybody got an answer for this? Nobody? All right, go on, what you get? Yeah. 2.4 and minus 0 0.4. Now, one of the answers doesn't work, it's the minus 0 0.4 because it can't take place in negative distance, okay? Which will obviously give you a negative time as well, probably. Oh, wait a second. X, Y axis. Uh, 3X plus 4Y. Oh, yeah, do you know what's happening there? If you finish, if you finish the, the ellipse, so I had to make it a bit bigger. If you finish this diagram, do you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it fit the uh, 
I'm trying to make a fit the size that is there, but it's impossible for me. But basically, the line hits twice. It hits it above the axis for a positive y value, and then below the axis for a negative y value. What did we have to prove? We just had to we just had to prove that the cross. Have we proved that already? How did we prove it? The fact that we got two answers means that it crosses at two different points. Do you have to know where those points are? Does it say that in the question? No. Now, has anybody got any suggestions for part two? If it doesn't cross at all, what happens? If it doesn't cross at all, there's my ellipse. Here's my line. It's currently crossing twice. I adjust the k value so that it doesn't hit at all. What will happen in the minus b formula? Will be less than zero, be negative. You will not get an answer for. You will not get an answer for b squared minus 4ac. Do you get what I'm saying? You'll get an answer that's negative. Your calculator will say maths error. It cannot be done. So essentially, b squared minus 4ac, the discriminant, will be less than zero. Everybody okay with that? Now let's figure out what we're doing. Can I get rid of all this stuff on the right? Right, here's what we're going to do instead. We are going to, instead of using 5, what do I use this time? It's in the question. I'm using k this time. So, this makes my life a bit harder then. Here's k. Now, what does that 25 turn into? Turn into 25 we had last time. What's that now? k squared. Now, so we're doing k minus 3y by k minus 3y, which is k squared minus 6ky. When you multiply it out, it's minus 3ky with another minus 3ky, which gets you minus 6ky. And that's going to be plus 9y squared. So what do I have to change that 30 into? Anybody? That 30 gets changed into? On a 6ky. Now, what does my what does my equation get turned into now? It's still 15y squared. But what's after that then? 6 6ky is the one that has the y in it. What's after that then? K squared take away. 40. Uh, your A value, your B value, and your C value, respectively. What do I have to do with the A, B, and C values? Put them into the discriminant and make sure the answer is smaller than zero. Yes? Uh, minus B is when you're looking for two answers, where there are two answers. In this case, there is no answers, so the minus B formula would spit out maths error if it could. So you have to go, okay, what causes the maths error? Well, what causes the maths error is that you're, you're square root in a negative number. So the square root part of the minus B formula is negative. That means that you're square root a negative number, which means b squared minus 4ac has to be less than zero. And if you reread the question, you're looking for the minimum value of k that will, co will cause the plane to avoid the weather front. The minimum value that will cause the green line not to hit the black ellipse. Okay, that's essentially what we're doing there. Now, uh, let's plug it into the discriminant and figure out what's going on. Now, does it say go true? Avoid the weather front. To me, avoiding the weather front doesn't mean touching it. Would everybody agree with that? If it's equal to zero, if I put b, if I put b squared minus 4ac less than or equal to zero, I count touching it in one point as touching the weather front. Does that make sense? 
if you go if you if you hit it twice you've go you've gone through the cloud if you hit, touch once you've only touched the cloud but you didn't actually go through it does that make sense yes just all right so let's do this what's the b value 6k the da value and finally the c value all right this looks uh difficult so minus 6k squared yeah minus four times 15 times now the odd thing about this is it's an inequalities question and you haven't done we haven't done inequalities in the book yet so interesting times ever happened with minus 60 and what's minus 60 times k squared minus 60 k squared and what's minus 60 times plus 40 huh 2000 400 right now here's the interesting part minus 24k squared every cut that less than or equal to minus 2000 400 every cut that now think about this what happens if i have a uh, five is smaller than seven what happens when i multiply both sides by negative what should happen so what should happen when I multiply both sides by negative this time? They switch around, don't they? Everybody cool with that? So what happens when you divide both sides by a certain number? <clears throat> it doesn't change the inequality, does it? If 10 is bigger than 5 and I divide both sides by 5, 2 is bigger than 1. Dividing the, both sides by the same number doesn't affect anything. So divide both sides by 24. What does the k value have to be bigger than? Has to be bigger than 10. Anything over 10 will get you, will avoid the cloud. Does that make sense? Anything bigger than 10 will avoid the cloud. All right, and we're done.